exchanging verbs is a big full task. Keeping track of cases is a lot to ask. Russian grammar might not be any fun, but the Ruski Ed gets the job done. Ruski Ed here with more on future tense verbs in Russian. There are two forms of the future tense in Russian, simple and compound. The funny thing is that the compound is actually easier to understand than the simple. In fact, we dealt with the compound future in the last lesson. For instance, a good example is muy budiem krasits dom, which means we will paint the house. It is called compound because it combines a form of buits followed by an imperative verb in the infinitive form. So for the compound future, you just need to know how to conjugate buits. As for the perfective or simple future tense, for now we will just take a look at the following perfective verbs. Ukras means to steal, kriknuts means to shout, pribuits means to arrive, naritsovats means to draw, and poiti means to go. Here are the future tense conjugations of two of these verbs. You can see the others in the online lesson. Ukras goes like this. Ukradu, Ukradyosh, Ukradyot, Ukradyom, Ukradyotye, and Ukradut. And Kriknuts goes like this. Kriknu, Kriknesh, Kriknet, Kriknem, Kriknetye, and Kriknut. And here are our sample sentences. Paka ani hatyat yeast ani ukradut means as long as they are hungry, they will steal. Ti kriknesh prejdi chem ya kriknu means you will shout before I will shout. Ani pribudut prejdi chem trugiyi means they will arrive before the others. Vui Narisoyete Munugalitz means you will draw many faces. And Mui Poidyom Tuda Zaftara means we will go there tomorrow. And that's it for this lesson. Ruskiad signing off. Das Vidanya. Ruskiad gets the job done.